What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are doing the Wizard Talrasha Meteor pushing build that I really like for the Wizard in Season 27. I was actually very, very excited that the Wizard finally got like a really cool Meteor build and testing in the PTR was absolutely insane. This build just seemed so cool and it was just so visually appealing that we had to build it, okay? So everything in this build is gonna be evolving around casting our Meteors. Now, I do wanna note that the Angelic Crack or Crucible power that we have on here is the Storm Armor one. So every 30 seconds is going to cast a storm armor, you know, lightning strike to kill an enemy. This is the best one to put on here. As you guys know, in the PTR, this was completely busted. People would go back between storm armor and energy armor or ice armor, one of the two. And it would just lightning strike and kill everything. People were clearing GR 150s so fast, but they've nerfed it. So this is the power that we're going to go with. So let's get into it. You guys already know how we're going to do. Our videos, we're gonna showcase it in a GR right now. We're just gonna do a GR 90. I just wanna showcase this to you guys and then we'll just push up uh, to a higher one than that. But let's talk about the build. So everything is evolved around casting meteors, okay? And getting our Talrasha elemental stacks to do even more damage, okay? So the way we attain this is through a couple different skills. We're gonna have one for fire, one for ice, one for uh arcane and then one for lightning okay and then once we get all four stacks as long as we keep casting meteors in some case we're going to be able to keep that damage output up that lasts for eight seconds okay and that is it i really like this build and it's built a lot differently than i think a lot of other players are doing it which i think is just really cool oh excuse me guys sorry i just smashed a burger and i got like i got the burps but the build is just really, really fun. You should always be able to cast uh, your meteors, no problem. You should be able to spam these. You know, like just spam them nonstop. As you can see, like my arcane power, like really doesn't dip down a whole lot. So you should have no problem just spamming meteors. Now, if you do get low, you're gonna have to change a few things. That probably means that you're not hitting enough monsters to get our arcane power back and reset our um, teleport. Ooh. We almost ran right into that, huh? Because the more monsters that we hit, the faster that our teleport gets reset. Kill those guys. Which is just great, man. I will say this, though, for the build. Like, I really enjoy the build, and as you guys can see, it's just absolutely... It's probably one of the best visually appealing builds that Diablo has in Season 27. But the only problem with it to me, it's just slow. But it is a pushing build, so we're going to be pushing for the higher ends. I know we're only doing a GR90 right now. But I really don't have a whole lot of Paragon to make the push build. Or, like, go through and do, like, a 110 for you guys without it being just a really, really long video. So, just to, just to showcase the build, we're just going to do this 90. But as you guys can see, you just, you just cast Meteor on absolutely everything. And then you have your energy armor, you have your magic weapon for just more defense, right? Okay, cool, we got a really nice map here. Kill these guys. And you see, you literally obliterate everything. Now I wanna tell you guys, single target damage on this is, in, like this might be like the best build that you can for wizards to be able to kill Rift Guardians because you annihilate Rift Guardians when you kill them. Wait till we get to the Rift Guardian and you'll see what I'm talking about. But you can just spam this. It's so cool. You just kill everything on the map. Okay, here we go. Where's the Rift Guardian? You're going to see his health bar just get deleted. Too easy. Too easy. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and get back into town and check out the gear. All right, guys. We are back in town. Let's go ahead and check it out. We finished that in 252. Pretty good for a GR90 with uh, you know, the pushing variant of the build. We have a T16 variant that I'm going to go over in another video, but let's get into the gear for the build, okay? So you are going to need um, all five pieces of the Talrasha set because everything is designed through casting our meteors, okay? So again, as long as we're casting a different element, we're going to get a resistance by 100% for eight seconds when we're casting different elements, which is great. This just helps keep us alive, which is another reason why we want armor on all of our gear, okay? And then attacks increase our damage 
by uh, 2000 percent for eight seconds for each of the different variants which is great up to a maximum of eight seconds so you do an insane amount of damage just by casting uh meteor along with your different elements okay so you're going to want tau rasha okay we're going to complement this with the Ogduled set for increased damage and then uh damage reduction which is great for wizards because they're typically squishy um, we also have the uh, Nofer's Boast Boots, which increases the damage of Meteor. And this is where I talked to you about with uh, single target damage, especially the Rift Guardians. As you can see, when you hit, when Meteors hit three or fewer enemies, the damage is increased by 743%. This is a bad roll for me because you can max it to 900%. So hopefully you guys get a lot better roll than I do on that. But the rest of my stat priorities were just insane. So I had to keep it. Um, we're going to go with our rings and amulets, which is our Swords necklace for more damage. Uh, Convention of Elements, since we're going through all of Elements, this ring is insane for this build. And then we have the Halo of Karini for just more defense. Because um, every time that our Storm Armor electrocutes an enemy, we get damage reduction, which is fantastic. Then into our weapon, the Grand Vizier. This weapon is a must. You have to have this weapon. I also recommend if you're going to put the power... On anything it's either putting the power on the weapon the halo of karini or maybe squirts if you're really feeling it but one of those three things is probably the best uh, option for that and this reduces the arcane cost of meteor by 50 percent and it increases the damage by 400 percent, which is just crazy so that's the gear let's get into our canias cube guys we got the smoldering core inside of the cube which lesser enemies are now lured to meteor impacts which means that all the minions and stuff are going to get lured and they're going to have a little red symbol above their head kind of how it looks like when uh, monsters are ignited and then meteors deal 50 percent increased damage when they hit the same target stacks up to 10 times for an insane damage boost menful of twilight which gives us the meteor shower rune is applied to all cast meteors and deals more damage so as we continue to spam we're going to get that meteor shower which is why you see so many i think it's seven that actually hits and then Ring of Royal Grandeur for the two different set pieces. Into our skills, we got Black Hole Absolute Zero. Now, we do have this paired with Meteor Comet Cold. The reason that we have these both as the same element is because Black Hole is going to give us a damage increase for our next cold spell uh, by 3% for 10 seconds for each enemy it hits. So you hit this on a big group, and then you spam your Meteors, which deal an insane amount of damage. Uh, comment for meteor which is also another reason why we can spam it i think the fire rune gives us a cooldown. we don't want that we want to be able to cast meteors at all times we have teleport calamity to help get us around the map this is also for our arcane meteor that'll be coming down because it releases a wave of force when we hit enemies so every time we hit with meteors it's going to help us reset this storm hour power storm arm storm hour storm <laughs> storm armor power of the storm this gives us a reduced arcane power cost of all skills while it's active meteor already costs a whole lot so anything we can get on that is really good uh, we have familiar spark flint for the fire element this just gives us a, a, a small damage increase but this is just mainly to get our fire um meteor which is great just to hit all four um elements and then we have magic weapon uh conduit Enemies hit by our attacks restore arcane power. This is another reason why we can spam Meteor and just never really lose arcane power because as we're just raining down Meteors, we hit everything and it just gives us arcane power back. So it's great. Into our passes, we have Galvanizing Ward for just more defense. Elemental Exposure, we're using all the elements, so why not take a big, huge damage increase for that? Audacity, I'm pairing this with Power Hungry just to do... A lot of damage to you know enemies far and short inside the map now when we look at our skill guys you could probably change out either one of these or just keep like audacity maybe swap power hungry for unwavering will is good uh, you could probably do dominance for more defense if you were really feeling it or you could even do illusionist to maybe get around the map a little bit faster astral presence is always good to make sure you keep things up so you have a little bit of options here on the last one but I think these three are a guarantee that you need to take okay so that is the gear and skills guys let's get into the stat priorities for the build okay in the helm guys you're going to want intelligence crit chance and meteor damage the shoulders you want intelligence area damage cooldown, and then you want resource cost reduction 
I know I have 12% life on here. I tried to get some, but this is as close as I got. So it replaced the 12% life with uh, resource cost reduction. In the gloves, you want intelligence, crit, crit, area damage, which is fantastic. The chest, you want intelligence, fit, attack speed, armor. The belt, you want intelligence, vitality, armor, all resist. Um, you could swap out uh, the Tau Rasha all resist for probably life would actually be the better one to have on here. So swap it from here at life, which would be great. In the pants, you want intelligence, vit, um, armor, not all resist. For the boots, you want intelligence, vitality, armor, meteor damage. Uh, in the bracers, you want cold skills, intelligence, vit, crit chance. In the sports necklace, you want crit, crit, area damage. So if I could replace the, uh, the intelligence for the other crit chance, I would. But I had to make a slot for it to put the gem in. Convention of elements, you want crit, crit, resource cost reduction, or area damage. Uh, for the halo, you want crit, crit, intelligence, or area damage as well. Okay, on the weapon, because this is going to be decked out, you want fire damage, intelligence, uh, area damage, and then you want to swap the vitality I have on here for just percent damage increase, which would be 10%. So you want to swap that out. Okay, so those are the stat priorities on here. For our legendary gems, we got Bane of the Trap for more damage. We have Zaya's Stone of Vengeance for more damage uh, and stun effects. And then Bane of the Stricken against the big dogs, especially against the Rift Guardians. So those are the legendary gems that we have for the build. That is going to conclude it, guys. This is my Tau Rasha Meteor Spam GR Pushing Build. I think if we look onto the chart, guys, on the leaderboards, I think Tau Rasha's ends up pushing into the 140s so the build is very very strong so you're going to be able to push really really high with this i just need some more paragon to do it and uh as you guys can see i don't really have anything augmented and i still need a few stat changes but the build is absolutely insane guys if you try it let me know down in the comments what you think um the wizard has been like my very first character that i ever played in diablo 3 so i'm really happy that they have a, a crazy build like this so but um the build is absolutely insane. I really like it. It's very flavorful, very visually appealing, and I think it's just a really fun build for the wizards, uh, especially for all you wizard mains out there. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. All the love you guys have been giving me is fantastic. You know, uh, the channel has been just doing so well, and I want to keep bringing you all these cool videos. And a lot of these builds are just cool ways to just help you guys out. So thank you again for all the support. Um, and as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.